Interpersonal and social rhythm therapy is a form of psychotherapy that was first developed at the University of Pittsburgh by Dr. Ellen Frank and her colleagues. And it's a type of psychotherapy that was developed for adults, primarily with bipolar disorder. In our high-risk study, uh, using IPSRT for the offspring of parents with bipolar disorder, we're aiming to see if by delivering an early intervention and modification of IPSRT, we can help to prevent or delay the onset of bipolar disorder in youth who are at risk by virtue of having a family history of the illness. And so the three components similarly are education about bipolar disorder and how people develop bipolar disorder, early signs and early symptoms, also a focus on regularizing daily rhythms, and this is modified specifically for adolescents. And then the last piece is the interpersonal piece, which in this particular intervention is actually focused on helping the child to understand and come to terms with their life having a parent with bipolar disorder. The youth themselves can't already have developed bipolar disorder because the purpose of the study is to determine whether we can prevent or delay the onset of bipolar disorder. Youth can, however, have other diagnoses known to precede bipolar disorder. So first we bring parents and youth into our lab and we do a thorough psychiatric assessment asking questions about sleep and any symptoms that they may have had to that point. After that point, we send the adolescent home with a small wristwatch-like device that they wear for seven days. This device gathers data on activity patterns and so we can infer about the patient's sleep and circadian rhythms during that seven-day period. After the seven-day period, we bring the child and parent back into our laboratory for a feedback session. After that assessment, we then randomize all of the families. So half of the youth will receive the referrals for treatment in addition to a brief IPSRT intervention with one of our study therapists and the other half will just receive the referrals for community-based treatment. Families come back to the laboratory at the three-month time point and at the six-month time point at which time we ask them more questions about any symptoms they may have developed since the intake assessment. We also find out more about their sleep and circadian patterns during that three-month period and again at the six-month period. This study is really aiming to determine if a brief and focused interpersonal social rhythm therapy intervention may have the potential to change the course of bipolar disorder in those at risk.